Which locks? Sugar babes are freaks electric. Are they, Carl? You know, I feel like uh, it feels like Christmas Day. What? And you didn't get the gift you wanted? Yeah. Do you know that like anticlimax? Yeah. When uh, you've been looking forward to it for so long. Yeah. You know. Well, I mean, I knew you were looking forward to it. That's why it took you 14 years <laughs> to get the result, and then it was two other people that got them for you. Do you so wish I... that we hadn't done it? Uh, no. Nah. It's all right. It's all right, isn't it? What's your girlfriend going to say? I don't think I'll see her again. <laughs> <laughs> she, she likes a man who knows about the Tudors and Stuarts, does she? Yeah, first gladiator, then the... Yeah, you've been bluffing. She goes, whenever she said, what do you go to Stuarts? You go, good. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. lo lots of things, but I, uh, look, 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 it's a bird. What happened to Henry VIII's last wife? Oh, oh I wouldn't... I, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, look, Friends is on telly. <laughs> Friends is off. <laughs> no, yeah. I just changed the subject by saying things like, you know, about the, the only king in a pack of cards. <laughs> that threw off the scent. That <laughs> threw us off the scent. That wouldn't that wouldn't fool an invigilator, would it? Mm. That's the thing. You can't use that one uh, with an exam board. Carl, have you yeah. ever logged on to Friends Reunited? It was the site that everyone was talking about last year. No. Are you aware of the concept? I've heard about it, but there's no one from school who would want to see Hook it again, with. really. So basically, for those that don't know, you have to log on to his website and then you can help, it helps you track down your old schoolmates if they've also logged on and stuff. And uh, we took, took the liberty, really, of, of looking on the Friends Reunited site and typing in your school and trying to track down any of your old mates. We didn't get in touch with any of them, don't we worry. We didn't do that. We're we not going to surprise you with them now. No. But I was just interested to know, like, some of your thoughts on some of the names that I could run past you. I mean, these are people from your year. Um, just tell me if you recognise the names. Alison Birch? I think I remember her. What's your thought? What's your thoughts on it? Uh, don't don't girl, don't be libelous. Don't no. say. Don't be like no. No, um, posh. Uh, probably did pretty well in history and that. <laughs> Sarah Morris. God, yeah. Remember. Uh, Go on. You're grinning. What's the thought? <laughs> Go on. No, just um, she was all right. She was a popular one. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> it's just she was nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. What about uh, Darren Buckley? He was, uh, he was one of my best mates. Was he really? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. What do you reckon he's doing now? Do you still keep in touch? Um, when my mum and dad were still in Manchester and they had a booty shop, he used to go in because the bookies was next door. I love the way he paints a picture. <laughs> he used if, to, uh, if you did this in your history exam, Carl, you would walk it. Go on. So you, your parents had a butty shop, there was a bookies next door? Yeah, and he, 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 he liked having a bit of a gamble, so he used to, um, I think he works for some insurance company. Do you think that his fiance Beth knows he's got a gambling problem? <laughs> Yeah. Or that his two-year-old son, Lewis. No. Yeah, they live in Cheadle H Hume. Hume. Uh, Cheadle Hume. He must be doing well. It's He's still supporting the Blue Army and frequents the shrine on a fortnightly basis. The funny thing with him is, right, when um, I used to stay over at his house and um, his dad was a copper. And um, uh, I remember his dad came down and said, right, I want to see you two. And I thought, oh, God, what's happened? And um, got us round the, round the table. He said, um, do you know much about drugs? So we were like, well, what's all this about? So he goes, you know, they, they're, not, they're not good for anyone, you know, the stupid thing to get into. And we're like, yeah, we know. And he went, you know, do you? He said, yeah. He said, what's this then? And he'd found something in his bedroom, and it was a skittle. <laughs> what the sweet? Do you know little sweets with the S on it? <laughs> and oh, really? And drugs. <laughs> yeah. So he said, well, yeah, it's a skittle. Yeah, I know what it is. He oh, he was bluffing like that is a slang word. Yeah, he thought he thought because he was a copper, he probably had to be down with all the terms and that. So we said, "Oh, it's a skittle," and he he said, "Yeah, yeah, I know what it is, but what's it doing in your bedroom?" <laughs> oh, and it was like, "No, it's a toffee." <laughs> so, uh, it's barren, uh, yeah, I know it's a toffee. It's a squib. <laughs> it's a it's a it's a, yeah. Carl, more people from your uh, past. Debbie Carr. Yeah, she was. Uh, she was another nice one. one <laughs> what one, does that mean? Is that a euphemism? No, she was one of them that you'd sort of go, she's nice, but you, she'd never be your girlfriend. Do you know what I mean? She was, Not really. Even though she was in the same year, she seemed a lot older. Right. And like, Wasn't a teacher, it, was it? There was, there was three of them who all hung together, and they seemed to hang around like the older kids, the ones who looked like men. Do you know what I mean? The other yeah. What did you look like, like then? Well, it's just that I, I had youthful sort of looks, sure. whereas like the older ones had like beards and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the gang of boys in the fifth one with beards. Were they smoking pipes? <laughs> Go, come over here, me filly. 
<laughs> oi, you, you, oi, Debbie Carr, come over here, you little beauty. You know what she was like? I love that. I was like... hanging around with beards. There's the big boys. What oh, fishing? <laughs> that lovely beards. What do you I mean? just see a, a whole row of George Bernard Shaw's. <laughs> Brilliant. How do you do in history, boy? <laughs> yeah. Think what I You're an idiot. <laughs> oh. they, they were like, um, you know, I'd be there sort of plain punching people in the arm. Cause we used to oh, play yeah. oh that's a great game. Oh, I love that, punching people in the arm. Is that part of the Olympics? No? <laughs> it's, 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 I think it was exhibition this year. Right. But it's going to be a pro next year. It's going to be the Winter Olympics because you've got to do it in uh, just a cap sleeve shirt sure. in winter. Um, yeah, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. So you're uh, playing that. She, uh... <laughs> But, whilst but I she was didn't doing appreciate that. that. She used to go, ow! <laughs> <laughs> no, I always think whilst I was doing that, they were like the Charlie's Angels and they'd be sorting out a mission somewhere. Because they were really like, there was something about them that yeah. you thought, you know, well, yeah, they're first, special. They were they private detectives. What if they <laughs> work for a man they never see? Okay, well, the, 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 here's a name I'm interested in because, uh, well, let me just tell you the name first. Uh, Adam Clifton. Mm. Oh. Go on, what? what are your thoughts on Clifton? Uh, he was one of them kids. He was all right, but. He had that thing when, um, if he didn't have enough milk, <laughs> he had like uh, wrinkly hands and <laughs> white, white, white bits in his nails. Oh, because yeah. he didn't have enough milk. Yeah. yeah. So therefore, you didn't like him because he didn't get enough milk. This is not to be confused with the two people with the big heads and the webbed feet, is it? Webbed hands. Well, this was <laughs> I know that they weren't related. They must have been somewhere along the evolutionary. Sort of trail, do you know what I mean? They must have come from the same sort of stock. But no, you, you wouldn't have liked him. He's just, he's just one of them people. He was all right, but he, he well, can I, before you say any more, um, on the, on Friends United, you can leave a little message which explains what you've been doing and uh, what's what your you know your life's like now. And most people leave maybe two paragraphs. Yeah. Adam, I've printed it off. He seems to have printed. I think it's, there's about six pages here of stuff. He keeps updating it, and he he just basically lists his memories about everyone. Okay, yeah. it, it, at school, and uh, what he thinks of everyone. And uh, he says, I often see Simon, da 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 da, he's doing a right for himself, self employed illustrator, Mark Cooper, Carl Pilkington. Right. And your name comes up. Now, I don't know if you've told us this story, I think you may have done, but I can't remember the facts about it. It just says, Carl Pilkington, with his pet bird, was it a magpie? I can't remember. He brought it to school to show everyone, and it flew away. <laughs> No, they do that, don't they? You show them the what what you, was the story? You give, there, you give them seed and they just leave. The, what do you mean? Well, this sounds like Kez. Well, that's <laughs> it. I was a big fan of Kez, and um, <laughs> it was the time our dog had just died. Yeah. So I didn't have any pets, and the cats were always getting run over. <laughs> yeah. And um, so we didn't want any more pets. Yeah. But there was a magpie that used to fly about on the estate, and I managed to um, sort of tame it. And um, in the end, with, it with became, a chair and a whip, what do you became, mean you tamed it? Well, just used to sort of hang around it and talk. But how did you it. get hold of it? Did you catch it? Well, eventually, yeah, it used to just come to me. And I'd, the annoying thing was, it got to a point when I wish I hadn't bothered, because it <laughs> it used to pop me bike tires. It used to it used to sit on on like if I was talking to my mates and I was on my grifter. I love the way he just throws things in. <laughs> it's like an Alan, Alan Bennett play. <laughs> It, it landed on my tyre and it used to peck at the tyre and pop it and then oh, it, used to, no. it used to then never go away so it was always like around the house and my dad said never bring it in. So it used to sit on the porch and I used to go out and it used to fly down and land on my head oh. and it really hurt. It used to like peck and stuff. <laughs> he thought it was a tyre. <laughs> so it wasn't so much tamed as a stalker. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. So you took it to school and it flew away? Yeah. So did you take it in proudly going look at my magpie? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh but no! Anyway, it, it, I think it got a bit confused in the area that it was in because I used to just keep it sort of around our estate, but sure. the school was a bit of a distance away. How did you get so it there? Carrying it on my finger. Did you walk? Yeah. <laughs> wow. So it was happy people there, and then it got. To, huh? people, it used to be one of those things that people would stop me in the street and sort of go, "Oh, what's that?" And, so and did, I don't suppose you called it Maggie. You didn't get uh, Charlie's Angels to go and find out what happened to it. <laughs> investigate. Were they impressed? No, uh, not really. No. But Listen. go on. Any, any. Like Carl, let's mates. come back to it, mate. Let's come back to it. Let's have uh, a hip hop hooray track. It's the big hip hop selection from Big Steve Merchant. Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about there. <laughs> Just trying to sound hip. This is Spearhead from many years back. Uh, a track again, I think, got largely overlooked at the time, but worth hearing again. People in the middle. <sighs> right, okay.